Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to solve boundary value problem using finite difference method. Okay, let's look at one problem here. So, um, we want to solve using finite difference method. For the given BVP, such as y double prime minus xy prime plus 3y equals to 11x. Okay, we are given the uh, boundary condition y1 equals to 1.5 and y2 equals to 15. Okay, the x interval you can see that from 1 to 2 okay the x interval is given from 1 to 2 with uh, the step length h equals to 0 0.2 okay so if you don't know how uh, if you don't know what is finite difference method please watch my video on uh, boundary value problems using finite difference approximation okay because um in that video i've given you um explanation on on how to use a uh, finite difference method okay but uh, today we're going to solve it okay so first let's uh, sketch the given interval uh we make a number line okay so i have a line here so my interval is a naught is uh, not a naught is a a is one okay this is my interval a is one and this is my b b is two okay so if you recall my previous uh, video i would say if this is my a this will be my alpha if this is my b this will be my beta Okay, so what happened here? X naught, where? X naught is 1. Okay, and then X, how many? Okay, how many? We don't know that, but we know start from 1, every step length is 0 0.2. So this is 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1 1.8 and 2 so i'm just going to erase that and move it slightly closer okay so we have five steps okay five steps okay so i'm going to write it x5 x5 equals to 2.0 okay so um from here so we have divided the interval into number of sub intervals for n is 5 and length h equals to 0 0.2 so what we can know here what we can know here so uh, what we want to find is all this value here okay we want to find y1 y2 y3 y4 so these are the boundaries okay y5 where my y5 equals to 15 okay my y0 for this point here my y0 equals to 1.5 okay so we can see that uh, solving this using a finite difference approximation it will lead us to a 4 by 4 system of equation okay so the hint here is you know that will give us will give us 4 by 4 system of equation system of linear equation okay so now we want to solve this we want to we want to find this system that's what we're going to do 
okay so we know that uh, this is a second order derivative okay so what we have the finite uh, finite difference approximation for second derivative so the second derivative is given as y central difference yi plus 1 minus 2 of yi plus yi minus 1 divided by h squared and then for the first derivative we also have the central difference formula for the first derivative yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1 divide by 2h now we want to approximate for this problem y double prime minus x y prime plus 3y equals to 11x so this is in the standard form okay what's the standard form i can um write the standard form if you forgot the standard form is y double prime plus px y prime x or just put just put y prime okay and then we have uh, qx plus qx y equals to fx this is a standard form okay so this so you need to make sure you uh, you have written the given boundary value problem in the standard form okay so that's the first step okay what is the first step write in the standard form so writing in the form of approximation i have y i double prime minus x i y i prime plus 3 y i equals to 11 x i okay now i can use the second derivative formula and the first derivative formula to this given equation so i have y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1 over h squared okay minus x i now what is y i y i is this one y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 over 2 h okay this is done plus 3 of y i equals to 11 x i okay so that's the second step okay the second step will be uh, writing it in the in the form of finite approximation okay so what we do here we just um we can multiply uh, so I want to cancel out h squared and 2 here so multiply left and right multiply left and right by 2 h squared okay multiply so it doesn't look like an x here so maybe I'll put multiply by 2 h squared okay so what, what gives us now okay 2 2 y i plus 1 minus 2 of y i plus y i minus 1 minus 2 and 2 cancels out h and h cancels out leave it with 1 h so i have h x i y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 plus 3 times 2 6 h squared y i equals to 11 times 2 22 h squared x i squared y uh, x i okay so collecting uh, the common term so we have 
multiply at xi plus 1, xi plus 1, okay? And then we can also take the term involving yi, yi, and we can take the term involving yi plus 1, and yi minus 1, yi minus 1. Okay, let's do that now. Let's do that. So I have 2 minus hxi yi plus 1 plus negative 2 plus 6h squared yi okay uh, no no 2 times negative 2 negative 4 okay negative 4 maybe I can erase it just be careful Okay, because if you do mistake here, and then the rest of the prop, um, it, the the rest of the solution will be wrong. Okay, let's check. And then what we have it here, we have it for uh, two times this one. So I have plus two negative negative positive h x i y i minus 1 okay equals to 22 h squared x i okay so remember usually usually what we do here we will write okay usually we write uh, y i minus 1 first okay so i want to write this as 2 plus h x i y i minus 1. Okay, I'm taking out the negative outside. So I have negative 4 minus 6 h squared y i. Okay, and then I have plus uh, this term here. So I have 2 minus h x i y i plus 1 equals to 22 h squared x i okay so now we have we have um this is my uh step number two okay writing uh this is step number two i'll just write it here step number two where you write in the form of a finite difference approximation now we know that h equals to 0 0.2 this is given okay so let's let's put the value inside 2 plus 0 0.2 xi yi minus 1 minus okay what is 0 0.2 squared okay so 0 0.2 squared times 6 and then 4 minus whatever here so maybe i can write it like this 6 0 0.2 squared yi plus okay here will be 2 minus 0 0.2 xi yi plus 1 equals 2 okay equals to 22 times 0 0.2 squared xi okay now i gotta simplify if you have a calculator this is the time to uh, take it out okay so uh, according to my quick calculation here 4 minus 6 times 0 0.2 squared should give you negative 3.76 yi okay and then plus 2 minus 0 0.2 xi uh, y at i minus i plus 1 equals to now 22 times 0 0.2 squared gives you 0 0.88 xi okay there you go we have we have we have um, simplified this now recall back the given boundary condition 
okay boundary condition so the boundary condition is given as so we know that y1 equals to 1.5 and y2 equals to 15 again I'm, I'm i've written earlier on so it means that this is my y naught okay y naught equals to 1.5 and this is my y5 equals to 15 okay you need that you need to know that okay now what we're going to do we want to we want to construct or we want to come up with the 4 by 4 system so let's start with i equals to 1 until 4 okay i start from 1 to 4 okay so what we have for i equals to 1 first we have 2 plus 0 0.2 x1 y naught minus 3.76 y1 plus 2 minus 0 0.2 x1 y2 okay equals to 0 0.88 x1 okay and then you can uh, you can substitute the value um, immediately or you can do it later on okay so let's continue this is for i equals to 1 now for i equals to 2 i have 2 plus 0 0.2 x2 y1 minus 3.76 y2 plus 2 minus 0 0.2 x2 y3 equals to 0 0.88 x2 okay and then for i equals to 3 2 plus 0 0.2 x3 y2 minus 3.76 y3 plus 2 minus 0 0.2 x3 y4 okay you can see the pattern here you can see the pattern where uh, I have y0, y1, y2, y1, y2, y3, y2, y3, y4, x1, x2, x3. So I can write for i equals to 4, 2 plus 0 0.2 x4, y3, minus 3.76, y4, plus 2 minus 0 0.2 x4 y5 equals to 0 0.88 x4 okay now this value here x1 x2 x3 x4 we know that okay we know that from the diagram i sketch all the way up here okay that's why i'm um, sketching that graph uh, the diagram the number line is very important okay so this is my x the x naught so this is my x1 x2 x3 x4 so x1 is 1.2 x2 is 1.4 x3 is 1.6 and x4 is 1.8 and then we know x x5 is 2.0 x0 is 1 and then we also know that y0 is 1.5 and y5 equals to 15 okay with all this information i should be able to um, simplify my equation okay let's simplify the equation so what i have it now is to simplify so I have uh, simplify simplifying not flying simplifying okay simplifying we have we get okay I mean 
it's not flying it's just remove the x okay so, so i'm gonna write it uh correctly simply simplifying so what we have it here so we have um, 2 plus 0 0.2 we have already said my x1 is 1.2 1 1.2 and then my y naught is 1.5. Okay. Minus 3.76. We don't know that. Plus 2 minus 0 0.2. Again, x1 is 1.2. We don't know y2 equals 2. 0 0.88 times 1.2 okay now if you have a calculator you can simplify this okay simplify this so what, what I get here this I will have um, 3.36 minus 3.76y1 plus this term here 1.76y2 equals to 1.056 okay therefore uh, taking this 3.36 to the left hand, to the right hand side gives me 3.76y1 plus 1.76 y2 equals to 1.056 minus 3.36 should give you negative 2.304 okay like i say you need to have your calculator ready okay that is my um, i equals to 1 just now and then simplifying this equation here we have 2 plus 0 0.2 x2 is 1.4 now y1 we don't know minus 3.76 y2 plus 2 minus 0 0.2 times 1.4 y3 equals to 0 0.88 multiply with 1.4 okay so how can we simplify this okay so what we can do here this term here multiplying gives me 2.2.28 2 y1 minus 3.76 y2 plus this term here okay gives me 1.72 y3 equals to 0 0.88 times 1.4 is 1.232 okay so what we have now now for x3 okay we have 2 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 1.6 y2 minus 3.76 y3 plus 2 minus 0 0.2 multiplied with 1.6 y4 equals to 0 0.88 multiplied with 1.6 okay so use the calculator to simplify uh, this term here so we get 2.32 y2 okay minus 3.76 y3 and then we have plus 1.68 for this term here y4 equals to 1.408 okay lastly we have for y for um i equals to 4 okay which is for x4 Okay, we have 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, and 1.8. 2 plus 0 0.2 times 1.8. Y3 minus 3.76Y4 plus 
2 minus 0 0.2 times 1.8 y5 equals to 0 0.88 multiplied with 1.8. Okay, you can see the pattern actually, okay, you can see the pattern actually, okay, so if this is my, uh, again, this is my, this is my Y naught, this is my, the, the N value of the boundary, okay, which is given as 15, which is given as 15. Okay, so I'm going to substitute that value now. Okay, so we have simplifying this uh, 2.36, 2.36y3 minus 3.76y4 equals to, equals to, okay, just be careful here. Okay, what happened here? I got to subtract this, so I have... 0 0.88 1.8 minus whatever this term here 0 0.2 multiply with 1.8 multiply with y5 is 15 okay the other end boundary at x equals to 2 okay so what we have 2.36 y3 minus 3.76y4 equals to negative 23.016. Okay, if you think there are some errors in my calculation because I'm doing it too fast, okay, so please uh, private message me or send a message on my YouTube um, chat message, okay? I'll, I'll look, look back into it. But this is a step-by-step -step of doing it. Okay, so we have obtained a 4 by 4 linear equation. Okay, we want to write it as, so this is, this is my 4 by 4 linear equation. Okay, so what we have, uh, let me just do the box. Okay, we have y1, y2, y3, y4. Okay, equals to, okay, this is the f f value here so the f value we have negative 23.016 for y4 and then we have this one 1.408 and then we have this one 1.232 and the first one is where did it go negative negative 2.304 okay so let's look at the diagonal so the diagonal we have negative 3.76 these are the diagonal values so again I'm not so happy writing negative for my diagonal right but that's not that it's I mean it's okay it's okay so we have this we have this we have this so I have the diagonal as negative 3.76 so write it down negative 3.76 negative 3.76 negative 3.76 negative 3.76 okay and then this term here is my y2 for equation 1 let's see so this one, 1.76, okay, and then we have, so we have 1.7600, zero, zero. and then we have this term here, 2.28, and 1.72, okay, 0, and then we have 2.32y2, not y1, y2. So we have um, 2.32y2, this, this term is 0, okay, and then we have y4, 1.68, okay, and then we have 2.36y3,
okay so this is our 4x4 four four system okay this is by our 4x4 four four system of um, linear equation now you can definitely use scilab or any other um, tools to solve this system okay but um, I want to show you how to solve using Thomas algorithm okay to use Thomas algorithm uh, is um, easier if I can show you by using uh, by creating a table okay my uh, first row here will be I okay uh, please give some space and then I have one two it's gonna be a big table okay three and uh, let's see four here okay I'll try to make it smaller so you can see okay I here for the number of iteration and then we have uh, di ei ci bi okay I'm gonna put a line after that Obviously, that is a line here too. So I just put a straight line if I can. Okay, so then we have um, alpha one equals to d one, alpha i equals to d i minus c i beta i minus one. Okay. And then there's going to be a line here. We have beta i equals to e i over alpha i. Another line. And then we have um, w1 equals to b1 over alpha one where uh, b w i where w i equals to b i minus c i w i minus one over alpha i and then we have uh, this is for w once you obtain w you can do get your y value where we start with y4 equals to w4 and then yi equals to wi minus beta i yi plus 1. Okay, so the last uh, row here where you obtain all the y value. Okay, so this is how my uh, table look like. So I told you it's gonna it's a bit long. So obviously you can uh, make a line in between. So let me. Uh, I just have to. Um, okay, what we get? Okay, a little bit more line here. Okay, please use a ruler. Please use a ruler, and then from here I will make another line. It's not coming. Okay, let me just. Okay, I might have to um, adjust my spacing for my uh, three and four. Okay, so so I have four column. Make it bigger so that I can uh, write the equation. So this is iteration one. And then I have iteration two, and then I have iteration three, it's really easier if you do the table than um, uh, referring to any other notes without the table. Okay, so this is iteration 4. Ok, 
okay I'm just gonna fix all my line here so if you're doing it together with me uh, let's follow my uh, instruction so that you don't uh, miss out anything okay so this is how your Thomas algorithm uh, uh, table uh, kind of look like so um, we have iteration and you know some of the values are for the so there are a few part here let me just label this at part A part B part C part D and part E okay so now I want to big it make it bigger okay so for part A here part A is the values of this coefficient uh, d i e i c i b i are obtained from this table from this table now if you recall or if you haven't watched my previous video so i have stated that this is my d1 d2 d3 d4 okay here will be my um C1 okay C1 uh, no E1 E1 E2 E3 E4 I don't look um, I just adjust it so what I have here I don't have E3, I have D3 and uh, D4, okay. And then uh, I have, um, the rest are zero. Okay, so I have um, C2, C2, where uh, C1 is zero, C2, C3, C4, and then the rest are zero. Okay, so this information here, when I is 1, 1 refer to my diagonal, D1, D2, D3, D4, where I, have I can obtain from uh, this matrix here, A, Y, and this is B, okay? So we want to solve for Y, so obviously we know what is B, so we can find B and all the first, all the uh, entries in uh, row A. Okay, so let's fill it up. So we have 3.76, negative 3.76, negative 3.76, and also my, uh, this one is negative 3.76. Okay, and then for the E values, E1, it start from 1.76, 1.72, 1.68, and um, E4 is 0. There's no um, E4 here. Uh, I mean, e, mm, let me see, E3 or E4? Yes, there's no E4. Okay, and then C1 is 0, but C2 is 2.28, 2.32, and 2.36 okay and then what are my b's okay I, I know what my b's are these are all my b values so i have negative 2.304 1.232 and negative 23.016 Okay, so I've obtained all the first uh, row or the elements in part A. Okay, to do the next, to do the next, now there's a reason I make a big uh, space here, okay? So we want to uh, calculate the next value. So if um, alpha 1 is D1, okay? So to find the values alpha, this is D1, negative 3.76. Okay, the goal is you work from part D, part C, part 
D first, and then move on to the iteration 2 for B, C, D, and then move on to iteration 3 for B, C, D, and then move on to iteration 4 for part B, C, D. And then to find uh, the row E here, you will start from the back. We get the value of Y4, which is depend on my W4 here. Get Y4, and then we'll find Y3, Y2, Y1. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay, to find beta 1, it say beta 1, beta 1 equals to E1 over alpha 1 which are uh, E1, what is E1? This one. 1.76 over negative 3.76. Okay, so uh, if you have the calculator, um, assuming you will get negative 0 0.468. Okay, that's why I need a space here too. So you don't have to write this formula, okay? So you can just, uh, base on my... Uh, explanation for the first um, column here you just have to put in the value here okay but I just want to show you in case you don't know where that values come from okay, again uh, w1 is b1 over alpha 1 okay so I'm going to write it w1 equals to b1 negative 2.304 over alpha 1 negative 3.76 okay I think I should get um, W1 if you press the calculator as 0 0.613 okay now move on to uh, the second iteration for part B part B where you want to find alpha 2 okay alpha 2 is equals to D2 minus C2 beta 1. Okay, so what is D2? D2 is the diagonal 2, which is this one, minus C2, which is this one, multiply with my beta 1. Okay, this is beta 1. So negative 3.76 minus 2.28 multiplied by negative 0 0.468 okay plus the calculator you will get or you should get negative 2.692 okay and then move on to uh, beta 2 beta 2 now will be e2 over alpha 2 Okay, what is E2? E2, 1.72 over alpha 2 that you obtain. Negative 2.692. Okay, so that will give you negative, no, negative, negative 0 0.639. Okay, now move on to my W2, which is equals to W. When I is 2, B2 minus C2 W1 over alpha 2. Okay, look at this equation here. W2 will be B2 minus C2 W1 over alpha 2. Okay, so you can, you can uh, press the calculator. Okay, we know what is B2. So this is my B2, 1.232 minus C2, which is 2.28. This minus with 2.28, multiply with 0 0.613, divide by negative 2.692. Okay, so I have 0 0.062. So writing this equation is important to you for you to press the calculator. Okay, iteration 2 is done. Move on to iteration 3. So alpha 3 will be D3 minus C3 beta 2. Okay, so D3, diagonal 3 is this one. C3 is this one. D3 minus C3 times beta 2. 
okay so negative 3.76 minus 2.32 multiply with negative 0 0.369 for beta 2 so that will give you negative 2.278 and then to find uh, beta 3 beta 3 equals to e3 over alpha 3 so which is um 1.68 over alpha 3 negative 2.278 okay what do you get for beta 3 beta 3 is negative 0 0.738 and then to get a uh, w3 which is b3 minus c3 omega 2 over alpha 3 okay we know what is a b3 which is this is my b3 minus c3 this is my c3 w2 0 0.062 and alpha 3 where we are obtained here so use your calculator to press the answer you should get negative 0 0.555 okay then now to find um, alpha 4 see alpha 4 what happened here uh, similar similarly so we can find alpha 4 equals to d4 minus c4 beta 3 okay so you can find uh, using that formula so the, we have the diagonal okay we have c4 and we have beta this is beta 3 okay so you can get the value for alpha which is negative 2.02 Okay, once after that, we're going to find beta 4. But look at beta 4. My E4 is 0. So this is 0 here. Okay, 0 divided by alpha 4 is 0. And then, but to find um, omega 4, I mean, sorry, W4, this is B4 minus C4 W3 over alpha 4. Okay, B4 minus C4 W3 over alpha 4. Now, all these values are already found. Okay, we have W3, we have B4, we have C4, okay, and we have alpha 4. So, this value gives us 10.746. Okay. Part A, part B, part C, part D are all filled up. Now you got to do is find the Y value. That's important. So we know that Y4 equals to W4. Straightforward. Okay. So to find Y3, use the formula given here. Is W4 minus beta 4 times y 4 w4 which is this one minus beta 4 okay beta 4 is 0 uh, let me see beta no 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 sorry 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 so i'm looking at um double uh y see i know something is wrong because my beta is uh, 0 so i cannot find beta so let me just fix it. So my, I guess my eyes are getting tired with the small screen here. Okay, hang in there, everyone. Hang in there. We are almost. Okay, W uh, Y3 equals uh, Y. When I is 3, we have W3. We have W3 minus beta 3 Y4. There you go. Okay, let me make it, speak it uh, make it bigger, slightly bigger, slightly bigger. Okay, so W3, we know what is W3, we know W3 from here. Uh, beta 3 is here and Y4 is here. So use your calculator, you should get 
7.365 okay similarly to find y2 equals to omega 2 minus beta 2 y3 okay so omega 2 0 0.062 minus beta 2 times with 7.365 for y3 so that will give you 4.768 and then for y1 equals to w1 minus beta 1 times with y2 okay lastly you can obtain your y1 as 2.844 there you go i have solved this system i have solved this system using thomas algorithm where my uh, solution is given as y1 equals to 2.844 y2 equals to 4.768 y3 equals to 7.365 and uh, y4 equals to 10.746 okay if you think thomas algorithm is a bit challenging although i don't see it's that challenging because you have the formula or you just have to press the calculator but if you think it's a bit challenging you can always use a uh, gauss seidel gauss seidel okay watch my um, video on a solving system of linear equation using gauss seidel and uh, you can also use um, scilab to solve the system.